Knock, knock. Who's there? Mary. Mary who? Mary Christmas. <laughs> I'm Darcy. I play football for Dartford Ladies. I'm Fran. I play football for Chelsea Women. Do you ever wake up and think that I play professional football and I've got the best job in the world? Nine times out of ten, you wake up every day really excited to go into work and know that you're just going to do what you love and do what you've always done. What do you say to people that think women's football is less physical than men's? I think it's always a stereotype that we uh, come up against. A man's body is completely different to a female, so that's always the argument that we have is why don't you see it as a different sport of football rather than actually just comparing us all the time because I'm never going to be able to compete with a six foot three centre half. But I think the women's game is definitely getting more and more physical. It's just a case of whenever someone does say it to me, I say, well, come and watch a game and then tell me what you think. What are your top three tips for a woman aiming to be a professional footballer? Hard work. It takes a lot of hard work to get yourself to the position uh, playing in WSL. Probably being very strong mentally, uh, dealing with setbacks or losing a game or injuries. I'd probably say patience. It took me a long time to become a professional footballer didn't really get a chance until I was about 21, 22, so it takes a long time to kind of get to that level. When you think about your future career, what, what motivates you? I just think making my family proud and just inspiring younger ones. Like I coach an under 10s girls team and I'm already kind of their role model, so it's just inspiring them to carry on playing even though you've got to work hard. Did anyone try and put you off following your dreams? Nowadays you hear about the boys not wanting to play with the girls in school. I never really had that problem. I think I just had the respect from everyone I was around that I was good at football. And it didn't matter what gender I was or how small I was or yeah. anything like that. And whenever I came across one of the boys I didn't know and they would laugh about it, the boys would always have my back and be like, wait a minute, don't say anything because she's about to destroy you yeah. on the pitch. Yeah. <laughs> like, I would turn up to games and I'd have pigtails looking cute. <laughs> But really, I wasn't, and they didn't expect it. How do you feel about England winning the bid to host Women's Euros in 2021? Yeah, it's, it's really exciting. It'll encourage people to come and watch the women's games more and women's sport more, especially around London. You know, everyone loves football. Yeah. It's something that we always talk about. It's something that everyone always goes to watch. So, yeah, it's, it's really exciting. What does playing in front of a home crowd in a major championship mean to you? It's going to be a real honour to be able to walk out in front of you know, your home crowd in a full stadium um, playing in a European Championship. I don't think really you can get much better than that and I think it's just going to have a really good effect on us as players because we're going to know how much the, the country is behind us yeah. and also you know, I think it will really spur us on to you know, do our best and make sure that we come away with something successful.